Hello there, Mark Cunningham here, and in this video we're going to learn about how to calculate staff cost rates for your Xero projects. We'll also take a look at how to enter the rates into Xero, and what happens to the cost when you put time entries into your projects in Xero. I'll also point out that this video is part of a full series on Xero projects, so if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how you can add staff which are also known as users into Xero projects. And then we're going to see how you can add a staff cost rate to each staff member. Now the cost rates are represented on a per hour basis and they're actually a cost to your project and they're used to estimate the profitability of a project. So they're not actually the amount that you will invoice your clients for the work that the staff members do. And they're not a cost that will go into your business's profit and loss report or income statement. They are just an estimated cost that is used to help you determine whether your projects are profitable or not. So the cost rates that you calculate for each staff member should include their wages and or salaries that you pay to that staff member, any superannuation or pensions that you contribute for that staff member on top of their wages, and also potentially a share of the overheads such as rent or computer equipment, etc., that you buy for your staff. This is not absolutely necessary, but if you know how to do this, then you can add it into the staff cost rates as well. So an example could be, let's say staff member one, we pay them $30 per hour for their wage. We also pay $3 an hour on top of that for their superannuation or pension. And then we calculate that it costs the business about $10 per hour in overheads for every hour that that staff member works. So that would mean if we add them all together, then the total staff cost rate would be $43. So that's the 30 plus the three plus the 10 equals 43. And that's the rate that we would put into zero projects for that staff member. Now I should point out that each staff member can have a different rate inside zero projects. So for example, we might have another staff member and we pay them a wage per hour of $40. We then contribute $4 per hour of superannuation on top of that. And then we also say that their share of overheads is $10 per hour, which is the same as the other staff member. So we're just allocating that evenly between each staff member. And that gives us a total staff cost rate for staff member number two of $54 per hour. And that is the rate that we put into zero for that staff member. So that's a bit of theory behind it. Let's jump into zero now and I'll show you what I mean. So over in the demo company, I'll show you now how you can put those staff cost rates in. There's a few different ways you can get there. You can go to projects and staff cost rates in the menu. And that will take you to a screen where you'll see a list of the users or the staff that you've got set up and also their cost rates. So here in the demo company, we've only got one user and that's all we need for the purposes of this exercise. But just bear in mind that when you're doing this for real, you'll probably have more than one user and you can actually put in different staff cost rates for each user. So once you're in here, all you need to do is go to the staff member and just click on edit. And this is where you put in the cost rate per hour. So that will include their wages and their pensions and the overheads, etc., that we saw before. So let's just put in $43 per hour here, which is what we had in the earlier slides. And we'll click on save. Okay, so now we've got $43 there for Brian Jones. And I'll just quickly show you the other way you can get here is if you go to all projects the main screen here, and you click on this little menu over on the side and go to project settings. It actually just takes you to this same page. So you can get there that way too. It's the same thing. All right, so let's just go back to all projects. And what I want to show you now is where that $43 per hour actually comes through on a project when you use it. So if we go to this East Side Club project, where we can see that there's no real action in this one yet, nothing has happened, which is why this bar is completely gray and there's uh, zero dollars there. So if we click in there, 
And you can see there, we haven't done really any work on this project and there's no expenses, etc. So this is completely blank. And it's a good one that I can use for this example. And if we go to add and time entry, so we'll just choose any task. We'll just choose design and we'll just put in say one hour's worth of work and then click save. Okay. So what we've done there is we've actually said that we've worked on this project for one hour and you can see here, this $100 has come up here. So this is the amount that we're actually going to charge the client for that one hour of work, which has been programmed into this project um, before. But if we go into the profitability report, let me just scroll down a bit. We can see here the $100 there is now an uninvoiced amount. So eventually we're going to invoice the client for that $100. But we also have this um, cost up here of $43 and that's the $43 per hour that we put in as the staff cost rate. So by doing one hour of work on this project, it has cost us $43. So we've had to pay the staff member for their wages, etc., And we're going to bill the client $100 for it. And when we do bill the client, that will show up here. And then this will actually show as a profit of $57. So that's it for staff cost rates. In the next video in the series, we're going to take a look at a small project example, just so you can get an idea of the workflow before we go into some more in-depth lessons.